All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fabs in the house and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is the first time uh, coming here and I'm just going to uh, go quickly through my collection. I'm going to show you four trays uh, full of goodies, but uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, check out fablades.com and at Fablades on Instagram for even more uh, knife uh, content and some toys as well. So let's go ahead and check these out. Um, I'm going to start up here uh, with these uh, Sinkovich uh, Shirogorov tools, uh, which are pretty cool. As you can see, they have a button lock and they angle uh, 60 and 90 degrees. They hold Sinkovich uh, bits and Shirogorov bits to take uh, your uh, Shirogorov knives apart. That's a set of tweezers, of course, for those pesky bearings and uh, a tool as well. Here you see just like four pens in different variants. This is the V3, this is the Monkey Edge Frag Pattern, this is the COVID, uh, Copper COVID Killer Set uh, in 50 uh, limited edition, only 50 made, and this is the Custom Division uh, Pen uh, Tool. So these are pens of course that open up like that and uh, uh, you get the bits uh, underneath this Pretty cool cap on the back. So titanium, marble, carbon fiber, satin finish. I mean, this is like crazy. But anyways, these are just the Shiro tools. Let's go ahead onto the knives. Uh, uh, sharp by design, mini Tempest, uh, titanium frame lock, uh, carbon fiber inlay, and of course, M390 steel in this pretty cool front flipper designed by Brandador. Nice and uh, cool. You have uh, over here another front flipper with uh, also carbon fiber inlays. And this is the 520 uh, Philip George designed custom knife factory executed for this uh, titanium frame lock uh, uh, version of the 520 one of my favorite knives guys a really really cool check it out if you haven't uh, this of course is the hinder xm18 uh, and in this configuration you get some fuller battle black uh, flipper delete generation 6 uh, m390 steel spear point on skiff bearings and sharp dress knives a uh, set of scales and uh, titanium bronze hardware this thing is just oof ridiculously good uh pena custom trapper front flipper as well cpm 154 my carta scales with this pretty cool satin shield would you look at this liner going on it is very very elegant i love that check this kirby lambert this is a prototype uh, going on i mean the materials employed are just stunning of course dense uh, dama steel going on zirk uh, clip Ooh, this is a solid one and uh, right next to that you get uh, uh, the fab edition fontenil pato lock back uh, dama steel lithier uh, with this pretty cool file work on the back and just Oh, very, very nice indeed. So let's go on to the second tray, guys. Here you go. And right over here, we got some other goodies. Uh, TRM Atom in a full set of titanium scales, guys. This is ooh, really, really nice. Of course, it's on washers and uh, uh, 20 CV steel. Uh, Chris Reeve Knives Nandi. This is the Blade HQ exclusive carbon fiber inlay and basket with Damascus steel. Oh my God, this is uh, one of my favorite knives. Super elegant, nice and neat. Uh, another uh, amazing small Sebenza. Uh, this is uh, uh, Chris Reeve Knives uh, and Devin Thomas Spirograph Damascus. Good luck finding that. Uh, of course, embellished with the Juan Tortilla uh, dark tie uh, pocket clip to uh, you know, finish the package. And Cody Utzler, uh, this is a slip joint, titanium and carbon fiber inlays. I love this thing. It's just so well made, so elegant and classy. And it's a slip joint, guys, so nice walk and talk going on over here canada made uh, a rasca this is grimsmore knives uh, uh whew, look at this thing action is insane uh pretty cool titanium frame lock rwl34 steel in a nicely executed package and gents and so of denmark or so hand rub satin uh, titanium frame lock with some dark tie clip and pivot collar rock and rolling in this super elegant knife very very cool right over here you get to see something 
unique. This is the Brian Addo Tempest and check this out. Uh, this uh, uh, it looks like a San Mai blade, but actually this is a uh, satin blade with milled jacket, let's say, and a milled titanium uh, frame lock with a pretty cool pocket clip, guys. This is Oh, it's a beast of a knife. Check it out. Uh, next to that, Cody Utzler, that's the duck uh, in Zirk accents and Zir blasted by Clark, of course. I mean, one of the nicest uh, custom that I have in a plain Jane configuration, but with Zirk all over the place is just like a classy option for sure. Of course, uh, Holt Blade Works, that's a Spectre V4 in a blue twill carbon fiber liner lock configuration. You get some uh, ha, mirror polish, M390 steel and a wicked action and mill clip as well. Uh, next to that, you get a beauty that is uh, this Skiff Drifter with some nice polished uh, Dama Core blade and dark tie accent, uh, huge collar, oversized, uh, of course, and uh, a very, very interesting pocket clip uh, right there. Uh, for Chris Reeves, uh, up there, uh, you see this is a large Sebenza 21 with raindrop uh, uh, Damascus. This is Blade HQ exclusive, truly stunning one. I love the um, Chris Reeve uh, carbon fiber inlays, Blade HQ exclusive. This is the large Sebenza 31, uh, not. Uh, Dama, uh, Damascus plate, of course, and here you get to see Incosi large uh, again, a carbon fiber inlay uh, for this blade HQ exclusive of a classic for Chris Reeve and uh, Bog Oak. And you get to see some uh, boomerang Damascus going on over here, so also the wood inlay for this uh, uh, pretty nice uh, iteration of the large Sebenza. So on we go to the next one. So here I got uh, the Shiro tray, guys, uh, with some labeling going on because I, don't know, I was just uh, uh, in the mood of doing so. And here you get to see a pretty cool Sinkovich design, Rezat uh, Neon. So there's only 20 made of these guys. One of my favorite, let's say, uh, limited edition production knife from Shiro Gorov. I truly uh, love that. Uh, right over here, of course, Icebreaker, another, uh, let's say, production uh, uh, Knife, I mean, limited edition, of course. A uh, hundred made of this uh, pretty cool um, frame lock. Uh, right over here, we get to see a custom division neon NL. Uh, truly stunning piece. Look at the milling carbon fiber inlay. You get some S110V steel. Uh, just just a gorgeous piece guys i mean come on uh, another classic uh, f5 silk uh, custom division incredible action titanium frame lock uh, with some zirk pivot uh, and uh, backspacer right over there and a vanax uh, super clean 37 steel uh, uh, rock and rolling right there of course hattie magnetic uh, custom division ah, truly something special here guys you see probably the current pinnacle of uh, the custom division lineup uh, right over here magnesium dust uh, infused carbon fiber scales and uh, i mean guys this uh, there it's it's a long story but anyways amazing one uh, another classic this is f95 antique custom division titanium frame lock some copper accent backspacer and collar and s90v steel in one of the most insane action that you will ever experience on a shiro and right down here we get uh, to see a couple of kings uh, f3b um Custom Division, Vinland, Dama Steel, uh, Lightning Strike, Carbon Fiber, Titanium Bolster, Zirconium Backspacer, uh, Fuller Blade. Guys, I mean, this is just the fanciest Custom Division to date. Uh, in my opinion, I truly love this one. And probably the king right over here f3 ns Custom Division, Titanium Liner Lock, ridiculously a uh, beautiful knife. Check out this laser etching going on over here and the milling. Outstanding uh, work. But uh, let's go to the next tray, guys. Here we are. Uh, there's some colors going on over here. Uh, let's start uh, from up here. Check this out. Uh, Code Utzler Duckling uh, Zirkutai. 
scales. These are four alloy dark tie scale in a ridiculously superb and smooth action. And uh, you get some zirconium accent, uh, studs, color, spacer, clip. One of the most, if not the most beautiful uh, duckling uh, around. Uh, uh, come on, guys. Uh, Kirby Lambert, Augustus, uh, Damacor, uh, you get some bronze, zirconium, mammoth, uh, uh, ivory, you get some meteorite inlays and backspacer in this gorgeous titanium liner look. I mean, come on, guys, this is just nuts. Uh, then uh, down here, you get to see Holt Bladework Spectre. This is a V3 Prestige with some crazy uh, Time Masks clip and spacer. And of course, this gorgeous Damasteel Blade uh, uh, going on. Uh, just, uh, just beautiful. Check this out. Another Lambert. Uh, this is the Rain uh, Zirk uh, Carbo Quartz uh, Dragon Skin Damascus. Uh, uh, just a truly stunning piece, guy. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's action. <laughs> Stellar. Uh, Holt uh, Haptic Prestige. How about this? Just crazy materials going on. The action is like ooh, 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 very, very good. Um, perfection. EDC. Like, guys, truly. Love this fella right over here. Um, next to that, Brand Adult Void XL in a Zirku tie uh, handle, guys. This is uh, ridiculously nice. Uh, it's like this fidgety. It's just gorgeously pleasant. And I mean, nothing else to say uh like there's not much to say about this beauty right over here uh this is hold blade works uh specter v4 time mascus handle uh gorgeously milled pattern uh, uh, just simply a, a unique one stunning stunning piece uh going on over there like it's a stunning piece uh, of course this peter rasenti uh nirvana four large uh, with the moku tai integral scale look at this solid chunk of uh, moku tai and a very very cool hand rub satin finish uh, that peter was able to knock out of the park in this beautiful beautiful integral folder right over here so there you have it, guys. I really hope you enjoy this uh, uh, state of the collection. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.